Good morning, everybody. This is Lori in the Casbah. And today, if you can look out and see right now, it's blowing about 30 knots outside. It's really the heaviest wind I've seen here in Yuma since I've been on my Women's Walden journey quest. And um, so I'm kind of stuck inside and I've been wanting to take a shower. And since my little Casbah doesn't have a shower, I thought I would take time to make a frugal shower. So as you can see, this would have been the bathroom enclosure on the burrow, the 17 foot wide body burrow that I'm living in. Um, and I was very grateful that the original owner chose not to have the bathroom put in because for a large part of the time it, it's just a waste and the tanks are too small to really take a shower and not have to empty it. And I've made good use by really storing much of my belongings in the Rubbermaid containers beneath it and add a little pizzazz, my little uh, rooftop candy counter. So when people come over, I always like to gift them with a little um, candy. And as you can see, it really opens up the space. But I'm in Yuma boondocking at Paradise Casino with some friends and there is just no close shower. And although my friends are very generous in allowing me to take showers at their rigs, I just really want to be self-sufficient. So I decided to work on a project this week and it's the $19 self-sufficient shower enclosure to be used with the shower gun, which I have a previous video on, which I'll add a link to. And here you have it right here. And I'm using two different shower curtains so you can discern the difference. It does require two in the closure that I'm using. And I'm using these um, poles that just you um, can adjust their length. I 50 at Walmart. These were about 99 cents. Uh, I got one clear see-through one here and one frosty one here as you can see and um, those were I think about 233 each but the thing that really makes this work is the Home Depot furnace this pan right here is something you use to empty the water on a furnace when you're in your garage and you just add a hose right here and let the water go out your garage so you don't get everything wet and you can do the same thing in the camper if I were to add a hose I put the fittings on here it comes with this fitting here but if I put a hose then I can just direct it out my door and put it into you know some kind of um, container to collect the gray water and then recycle it um, because I use so little water I'm using about 11 ounces for a shower not definitely not more than 16 with the shower gun because it's so effective in adding air and pressure um, I don't even think it's going to fill it up to here and I'll just be able to empty it um, either in my sink or and I'll go into my holding tanks so um, that pan cost about $8.95 at Home Depot so it's quite a little um, ingenious setup there is a little bit of time in setting it up um, and I use some clips here just to hold it in place um, to keep that taut. I'll be entering here and unfortunately I have all my electronics here. Um, my 120 inverter plug and my 12 volt so I certainly don't want to get those wet so it's making it a little bit difficult for me to just use my water here. Now this is my um, how I normally do dishes. I found a great container at Walmart uh, like for about five dollars that has the same fitting um, as the as my shower gun and some of you have probably already watched the shower gun video showing what what a really excellent tool this is uses a couple a batteries I think four it really does give you the pressure you need to shower and since I've already done demo I'm not gonna demo that right now I'll put a link into it um, but I was so thrilled to find this container because now I can always just keep it hooked up and this is my sink right here underneath the Ouija board and I can do my dishes anytime um, in this application, if I wanted to take a shower right now, 
all I'd have to do is put this up to get gain a little height and then take the shower gun and it would slip right over here so it would slip right over the top very convenient enough enough length to um, actually use it and not get anything wet with those electronics beneath it and I was going to do that until I realized I want to use some hot water so I don't want to heat up enough water to fill that whole gallon jug because I only need about 11 to 16 ounces. So what I used to do is I used to do my dishes with this bottle here because the fitting, the yellow cap fits right into it, not over this um, hiking bottle, but in it. And it works pretty good. If it, if it tips over, it will leak a bit, but it's fairly tight. And I put about that much water in there and usually I can uh, have a pretty decent shower extraordinarily so um, but try it on your own see what's comfortable level for you some people um, like more water um, but when I'm boondocking I really have to conserve and this really is meant for boondocking if I were in a more remote place not in a casino parking lot I could have one of those pop-up showers and I have actually thought about getting one of the pop-up showers for in here I just haven't found one yet um, I'm not sure how long this is going to take to um, put up in uh, I do like the path of least resistance so I might end up putting velcro along the top here and velcroing it there and velcroing it over here to make the attachment points um, but I'd still need something to bring it over from here and I really don't want to be velcroing you know just having strips across the roof of my um, Casbah um, I'd like it to be a little bit more clean cut. So I'm just going to try this little $19 solution for now and see how it works. You know, when I'm camping in a state park, normally they have a shower, so it's not a big deal. And this packs down very compact with the two um, pressure bars. And um, I can use them for other things as well. I actually use these pressure bars here. Here's one right here on my windows because there's no kind of lock. So I put it up here between the two things and that keeps between the two windows. I put it above so I can't see it up here underneath the curtain. And that prevents from anyone from opening my um, windows, even though there's no locks and it's really worked well so far. So what I'm going to do is I just boiled some water and I'm going to put half hot water and half just normal temperature water in here and that should be a good comfort level for washing my hair and such and then I'm just going to try wearing this as though I would wear it if I were hiking over my shoulder in the shower so I don't have to worry about you know getting anything wet in the shower and um, this would enable you to use it anywhere if you didn't have um, some kind of structure to hold your water like this then you can do something like this, which you can use outside as well. So as you can see, I have filled it up with 16 ounces of water. That should give me plenty. And this is the ball that picks up the water in the bottle. Just put that in there like that. And then it just goes on like that. And as you can see, it does fit pretty tightly. And I do have to watch it. I don't put it in too far or it actually gets stuck. But for a long time, this is all I had because I really couldn't find the standard um, size um, top for another bottle. And um, until just last week when I found this beautiful fitting. So this is about the size it takes right here. Um, and it does happen to be like a standard one gallon water bottle with the, the small top. Uh, not the ones that like grape juice or apple juice comes in are too big. So as you can see, I can just wear it just like a normal water bo bottle and I'll have enough length to be able to use the shower gun in the shower. And since this is a PG video, I won't be showing you the shower part, but I will come back and report on how it all went.